Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here. This is tutorial 16A in the Lewis series, where we're going to be starting on entities. Now, first things first, I want to show you how to actually spawn entities before we do anything else with them. So we're going to look at chat commands. If you recall, there is a hook called player say, which when a player types something, it calls this hook, executes this code regarding these arguments, which are player text and the player's team which spoke. So right here, we just look through what they said. If they happen to say exclamation point message, then we executed a networking message to the other side. So instead, we're going to set up another command. So if they say buddy in chat, then it's going to do this. Well, first things first, we're going to actually spawn an entity here. And one of the things we need is the position of where we're going to put the entity. So a good way to do this, or a very basic way to do this, is to get table right here called spawns. And we're going to fill that table with data, which is find by class. And we're going to get all the spawn points of the map, which this should be very familiar to Valve Hammer Editor users to make, to make their maps. Uh, this is how you actually set up a spawn point in Valve Hammer Editor for those not familiar. So we're going to be getting those. And we'll say random entry math random. And we're going to get a random value for this table of different spawn points. So this is going to give us all the different spawn points. Hashtag spawns. No, it's not a trendy way of just saying spawns. It's actually uh, part of this coding language. So now we're going to get this entity, right? We're going to have this entity. And we're going to create a zombie. Thus the name buddy for the command. Now, something that's uh, very good to get into habit is to actually validate the entities. So we're going to make sure if that entity is indeed valid, and if it's not, just return and in the function here. Now we're going to set up the position. So we'll say set position. And we're going to say from the table spawns, we're going to get the random entry from above that can spell it. And then we're going to get the position of that random entry. And we're going to raise the entity that we're spawning by five units upwards in the z direction. And next thing is just to spawn it. All right, so when you're doing spawn, it's going to take everything you said uh, previously about that entity into consideration before actually spawning it, which is why you do this last. So let's go in game and see how this works. All right, so we're now in game and there is a quick error to fix right here. Put two ends instead of one right here. So I just need to rejoin. So when I type in buddy in chat, not nutty, buddy. There we go. As you can see now we have a buddy at a random spawn point. So I'll type buddy again, there's another buddy and got another buddy over there and we have one less buddy and one mad buddy all right so how about if we want to make the zombies spawn wherever that the player looks well if you recall from when we did the vamp crowbar we used a trace hull method right here and we're going to use that or line trace rather not trace hull line trace and we can actually do that to get where the player is looking so instead of setting spawns according to that we're going to do a simple line trace right here and we're going to say it's tr is equal to player get i trace so now right here instead of this we want to put tr dot hit position so that's going to get 
the hit position of the eye trace, so wherever the player is looking. And now, if we type buddy, it's wherever I point and look. All right, so I hope I give you or that gave you some insight. And if you have any questions about this topic, please let me know. Until then, don't die from a zombie, and I will see you next time.